Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2001 John Deere 4200 compact tractor, 420 quick attach loader with quick attach John Deere quick attach bucket, and a John Deere 47 subframe mount backhoe. This thing does have cabin heat, front windshield wiper. This tractor's not new, 1265 hours on it. It starts, it runs, it works very well. There are some little spots here on the cab doors. Uh, we're going to show you we have changed engine oil filters, all John Deere filters, Hydrostat. Um, tires are turf in the rear, V-tread in the front. They are the correct size, so no issue there. The guy just replaced them with the V-tread because he saved a little money. Um, unit works very well. It is not a new machine. Uh, one lift, one uh, stab cylinder or stabilizer cylinder over here. We did reseal it, still has a leak in it because it has a little nick in the chrome rod. Uh, it's not a new machine, but it does start running work and it's an affordable tractor loader backhoe. Does have 540 PTO. We do not have the three point hitch kit with it, it just has the subframe mount backhoe. New seat. Um, but it's not all rusted up, salt machine, anything like that. Uh, it is a, just a good used tractor and is a non-admissions tractor. We're going to start here under the hood. Under the hood, it's going to be powered by a three-cylinder Anamar diesel. Does start running work very well. Typical John Deere 4000 series tractors. There's a little piece of plastic here broken the hood. But the tractor does run very well. Mechanically, it is very sound. And again, we did just spend a bunch of money going through and servicing this tractor. There's no oil leaks we found on the engine or the tractor itself. Uh, just back there on that stabilizer. The hood itself is still in nice shape. The fuel door lid's still in it. Generally, they're all busted and gone. Grill guard is here and intact. I see, what was that bucket? 73. 73 in the bucket. It does have a hook welder on the top of it. We've greased everything. Um, it does have a block heater. Cylinders on the back. The loader are very good. Tires are good. Um, we'll go into cab here in a second. Defenders are in good shape. They're not busted up. But this does have the subframe mount backhoe John Deere 47. This is the outrigger. It has a little leak. I'm just telling you the truth. Not hiding anything. 12 inch bucket with new teeth. The series of this machine, how this is set up to run that backhoe with this cab. You will take the operator's seat, you will tilt it forward. This has a knockout here in the back that will push forward, a set of cables holds it, and then you'll take and tilt something like that, tilt the seat forward for the backhoe. It's pretty slick, wasn't it? Let's tilt this back up, and all you'll simply do is push this back in. And there's a little set of turn locks that holds it back in. Now, summertime purposes, that can be very easily removed and use your backhoe just normally. So again, they held moisture here on the doors. This isn't like a salt machine or anything. And you can see there's a little spot there in the door. But look inside here on the floor mat, things of that nature. It is not rusted or rotted out. If you don't want to be in the weather, you want a tractor to plow snow and stuff with, here's something to take a look at. Well, I'll take a look in there and I'll head to the other side. Same thing on this door, has some down here where it's held moisture, but it's not rotted through. Cubby hole is here, new seat, three range hydrostat, park brake, four wheel drive, diff lock, joystick control. 1265 hours, heat and the windshield wiper and the top LED lights all work. So I'm gonna fire this thing up, gonna run it around, show you everything does work. Oh, crack in the windshield, you are correct, Matthew, thank you. There is a crack in the windshield as illustrated. So I'm gonna fire this thing up, we're gonna run it around, we're gonna show you everything works the way it's supposed to, including the four wheel drive.
legs. Also, I um, want to show everybody this heater fan works, low and medium range, um, two keys for the doors and for the ignition switch. So, other than that, I'll leak back there still on a cylinder, it just it has it there at that spot, it is what it is. Um, I have this tractor priced very reasonably in my opinion, you can't go replace this tractor today, this particular tractor. Way it would be set up with a Curtis cab, which was dealer installed. Um, at this time period today, you would be in the 45 ish thousand plus dollar bracket to buy something compatible to this, comparable. Um, I feel I'm going to price this tractor very reasonable. Uh, take a good look at it. We're selling it just the way you see it. Don't call stupid, ridiculous offers. You can't buy good stuff. This is a non emissions tractor, and it is in good mechanical working condition. And we just happen to have a nice day here. It's uh, November the 18th, and here we are. It's 60 degrees here today. Tomorrow's going to be in the 30s. It's just great. But when it's snowing and blowing and you're warm and you're in that cab, it won't be such a bad thing. Any questions, you want to come by and see it yourself in person, come on by. We have nothing to hide. 814-658-3066. Need a shipping quote? Let us know. Uh, give us a call at 814-658-3066. Check us out on Tractor House Machine or Trader. We'll be glad to help you any way that we can. As always, I'm Nick Meller, 814-658-3066. Thank you very much. Have a great day.